What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So uh, Mimi and I are headed down to the stadium right now to play in my last home game of the season. Uh, we are playing against Colorado Switchbacks, which isn't a team in our division, so it's like a cross division game in this weird 2020 schedule. Um, but basically there's a lot on the line for this game because if we win or if we tie, then we are guaranteed secured a spot in the playoffs. And if we lose and Austin Bold ends up winning, then we're gonna be tied on points and we'll have to play our final game against RGV uh, on Wednesday. So kind of confusing with this RGV game because it was canceled and postponed. So it's on like a need to play basis. If we need to play that game, we're gonna play it. But if we don't need it, we're already in the playoffs and we skip that game and we just focus on playoffs on the weekend. So. That's the uh, that's the plan. Uh, the last this last week has been crazy. We've played two games in the last seven days, eight days. We played against San Antonio and had an amazing, amazing performance in that game. Here's that game right here. Been going on before kickoff. We've had live bands. The fireworks go off again, and here we go. And immediately it's FC Tulsa with the ball, and they give it away to Perusa. Is it in field? It's going to land here to Bird. Bird will hit one with the outside of his foot now. Suarez with a shot. Oh, what a save, Cardoni. It hit the defender there to cushion the ball down. And there is Perusa again on the end of that one. Oh, that's a brilliant save from Lewis. They're taking his time. Great run in from Solanak. Takes a deflection and Sean Lewis makes himself big. Now here is Martinez. A little bit of space opens up. Suarez is in here. Suarez, Cardoni comes out, makes another fantastic save. By Loney. Brings in uh, Smith here. Chance here for San Antonio. Good save. And Smith again over the bar with a second bite of the cherry. Good save from Sean Lewis. And FC Tulsa just about managed to hack. By Loney, he's been so good in, distrib in distribution tonight. And Gone by Uzo. And Martinez is in here. Martinez to get a goal here for FC Tulsa. Just can't get out of his feet. Who's over there? Funny shot. Hits the bar. Would you believe it? And it's away for a corner. Ushua looking, no doubt, for Uzo on the far post. He heads it back. Suarez is in there. Bird to win it. And Eric Bird has scored for FC Tulsa. Uzo headed it back across goal. Bird finishes. Feed the bird. And he will score. Time added on. FC Tulsa 1, San Antonio 0. I think Cardone can do off the volley. You feel it, Dave. Both teams pressing. Opportunities were created. And, and the F referee blows the final whistle. FC Tulsa have won it at the death here. Eric Bird, the hero of the night as the fireworks go off. And Anna Beffer on their second half display. So amazing game there, playing against the number one team in the division and uh, really performing when we need it, getting the points to really help us push past Austin Bold. And then we played against OKC, our Oklahoma State rivals, and we this is how the game went last night or two nights ago. Martinez looking to find Chapman Page, who stayed up there. Garcia over the top, it's a good ball. Here's Cato, he's in here. Cato around the keeper, Cato scores. Out of position slightly, he's pressed higher and OKC energy quickly takes advantage of that and great job by Cato just an excellent Sheldon now up against two clips a good ball here's Santos coming in and Santos has scored a wonderful reply from FC Tulsa great run back post he's patient just watching that run in and with authority great header nothing Lorendi can do here's Bradley Bouchoir feeding the ball infield here Martinez Malota, clever ball, here's De Costa, and it's just gone wide. The Redney gets a touch on it. You see Suarez going down right at the top of the box, that's what... Back onto his right foot, feeds it back here to Hernandez, bit of trickery from him. Back to Stevenson, good building here from Energy FC. Stevenson towards goal, hits the post, scores! 
that's an outstanding shot from Tucker Stevenson. His coach may have just been sent off. Their look at it here. Stevenson has been active all night, defensively, offensively on that left side. He does a great job to cut in and strikes it perfectly. He gets a bit of help from the post, makes it really difficult for Sean Lewis to get over there in time. Altamirano in some space. Clips a, a ball. There's head of Fruzzo! Toby Uzo's first touch of the game. Starts out with the veteran Martinez just to stay patient and find Altamirano on that wing and Uzo, the diving header, excellent, but. Garcia, patient buildup. Plenty of stoppage time we think to be added on. Here's Altamirano, again Uzo with a header, and again Uzo scores! Well, they've done it once, they can do it twice. The two substitutes combine. Altamirano into the box. Uzo has turned this black gold derby on its head. Wing will get another look at it. FC Tulsa continuing to knock on the door and Uzo has been so effective in the air. We knew that that's what he brought on as a substitution, his physicality, his ability to win balls in the air. The Welshman to get the ball back in, he does with his right foot, headed away by Bradley Bouchard, and that will do it. FC Tulsa have won the wrench and they've also crucially got three more points in their quest to take the second spot. So another crazy, amazing game, amazing performance from Toby to get those last two goals. Christian and Toby combining for the last two goals. Absolutely amazing. Um, just we're on a kind of a hot streak now, so we really want to continue that. Uh, and, and things have been good. I, I'm feeling amazing. I mean, I got the assist in the last game, feeling really, really good, feeling confident. I feel like I'm playing the best football that I've, I've played in my life. So just really trying to play well this weekend, win or play well tonight, win or tie, do something, just have a result, and then we can push on to uh, into playoffs. What do you think? How do you think the team's been performing? Um, amazing. Like, it's been unreal watching like the difference especially between last year and this year yeah with this team it's like night and day and it's like really exciting soccer so i love going to games yeah it, it, sad this is the last home game yeah it's funny because like the differences between like last year and this year it's nothing crazy we still have a lot of the same players or a few of the same players it's just tiny little details it's the details at the professional level a small detail of one extra giveaway one player kind of like falling asleep or making a bad decision ends up being losses instead of wins or instead of ties so it's just these tiny little details that mean so much at the professional level uh anyway we're about like five ten minutes away from the stadium uh Mimi's gonna get some clips hopefully <laughs> unless she forgets but hopefully not yeah but whatever you guys will see the highlights as well but uh wish us luck hopefully after this uh after this game i have some i'm in a good mood i'm in a fantastic mood you're jinxing it right now <laughs> you always give that at me for jinxing i know all right well i'll just uh either way you guys have played amazing and you can be proud of this season all right let's get it Derby. It was, they were 2-1 down. Toby Uzo comes on as sub, scores a couple of goals and they win it. Three <laughs> Santos on one of those foraging runs down the right-hand side, up against Padilla. He's going to have his work cut out. Santos gets a good ball into the box. It's loose in the box. There's a shot from De Costa, and it's saved by the keeper. But his first touch wasn't good enough to keep the ball. Here's Bird. Maloto. Martinez. They do that so well to FC Tulsa. A little one-two. Suarez is in here. Chips the goalkeeper. And just wide. They worked it so well. Certainly does. Now that's been given away again by the keeper. Here's Marlon Santos in on goal. Santos has hit it into the side netting. Maloto. 
Seguro feeds a beautiful ball in here to Dario Suarez. Wrong foot's the defender, onto his right foot, to the far post. Marlon with the header just over the top. Seguro goes back in field here to Suarez. Suarez to Da Costa. Da Costa in there, just getting a little bit tangled up. Does get a decent ball into the box. Marlon Santos with the header and he's scored again with his head. <laughs> Well, he did it on Wednesday. Why not do it again on Saturday? Beautiful clipped ball in from De Costa. And Marlon Santos, with his head, gets his third goal of the season. Starts from a ball from Suarez and De Costa just sticking with it and trying to play a ball across that Santos can deal with. And he really does. He plays a great ball, allowing Santos to get up and over the defense and just a tough defender to get around. And here's De Costa for two. Goes round the keeper. It comes off De Costa. Will it spin in the goal? Oh, yes, it will. It might be a... I got it. Oh my god. It might be a lucky goal, but De Costa's gonna take it. Martinez in the midfield does so well centrally just to create opportunities like this and De Costa coming up big to double the lead. <laughs> steps in here is there one last chance for FC Tulsa in this half it's Maloto Martinez with a shot brilliant save from the goalkeeper Melvin Martinez, what a ball here to Suarez. Has he got there before the keeper? He has, but uh, Melvin makes a very good set. Dispay and that's a yellow card and Dispay has got a red card and that's a shame to see right at the end Dispay who was booked in the first half two goals in the first half have sealed this one the referee brings proceedings to an end FC Tulsa can celebrate now they are into the postseason they finish in second place <laughs>
So amazing game. I mean, uh, honestly, it was one of the, probably the lighter games for me that I've done. I really didn't get a ton of touches. I really didn't have to do much defensively. Um, our midfielders and our attacking players did a great job to hold the ball forward and, and keep the ball up there. And they did majority of the attacks. And then defensively, we kind of won it back a little early and we had just such great team defense that it wasn't that much counterattacking in 1v1. So it was just a really good game to play in. And I'm really happy for the guys and for the team it's just amazing i mean to go up from last year and getting knocked out so early and being so low on the table to this year clenching playoffs with a game in hand still that we don't even have to play um it's just it's just amazing you really have to experience those lows and go through those lows of last year or, or tough seasons to to enjoy the highs of making playoffs and everything i mean i've made playoffs my rookie season and of course i enjoyed it i had fun and i just loved it but this just means so much more to me than that first year just because I've gone through so much now and especially coming back for a second year to Tulsa. I'm just so happy that we can do that for for us and for the fans, for the city and everything. It's just it's just been a it's been a really really good year. So, I'll talk more when I get home. But yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just on a high right now. I'm just ecstatic. So happy. Mimi, thoughts? Great game. Great game. We got two days off. Two days off now. We basically already won. <laughs> So yeah, now it's just, now this is where it starts. I mean, we celebrate, we enjoy it, but this is this is the dance, this is the playoffs, so. Whew. A long, a long time since I've seen you like this happy. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So I'm back now in my apartment. Absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just crazy how winning can just change everything. And I mean, I, I've struggled a lot. Uh, I mean, I've been on, you know, the Roughnecks last year, um, down in New Zealand in 2018. And then in 2017, I was with St. Louis, just not the best seasons, like losing seasons and not making playoffs or, or whatever. And it's just, it's been hard to lose that much. And you just feel like you're doing all the work and you're doing everything right and, and everything. I mean, you just, you feel like there's nothing more you can do, but you're just continue to lose. And so, I mean, this just means the world. And I made playoffs back in 2016 when I was with uh, the, the Orange County Blues and I had a crazy winning season all through college and stuff. So I, I feel like I almost like took it for granted, like winning and going into postseason. And it just felt like it was something that happened. Um, and then to go through those three years of not finding that success, it, it, it's definitely made this year just so much more impactful and emotional just because it just means so much more when you go and you experience those lows it really does make those highs even higher so yeah it was pretty amazing feeling in the locker room after and celebrating with the fans and, and everything and obviously like we're not done like this is just the start now we've just gotten our uh spot in the playoffs and this is where the real you know the real pressure is and the real matches begin and the real work begins um but you want to enjoy this moment for what it is really reflect on all the years of hard work that's that's got you to this point. And then, you know, we have two days off, we have tomorrow off and then we have Monday off and then attack Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and really prepare for, I think, El Paso. I think we're going to El Paso to play them in the first round of the playoffs. So yeah, very cool. Um, the rest of tonight, I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna have my, my yummy brown rice and shrimp and veggies and I'm gonna have my water. I might have a glass of wine right now or a beer or something get crazy, uh, just enjoy it, watch Great British Bake Off, just try to keep my mind off of um, the game so much and just kind of relax and, and just enjoy the moment for what it is and then um, analyze the game tomorrow, do all that stuff and get back to work. So yeah, amazing. All right, uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I cannot wait for playoffs. Uh, as always, if you guys wanna watch any of my games, it's ESPN Plus or you can, if you're international, you can watch it on YouTube. So yep. Next game, I think, is Saturday. So I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.